playing with me in my teacher happy planner so let's go ahead and jump right go ahead and flip to the last week that we did in august which was this week here um and so we're ready to jump into september so a couple of things i want to hit on really quickly um i have this dashboard that helps separate the month so i'm gonna pop that out and it's supposed to house all of my sticky notes on here. So I'm going to flip to October. Now, um, these separate the nine weeks, but I'm gonna pop this in as well because this separates my month to month. If I could pop it on here without tearing it up. All right. So, and it says messy classrooms are where the magic happens. So now we're ready to kind of jump into September. As you can see, it says pumpkin spice everything. Stay tuned Friday where I'll be doing my monthly sheet as well as tackling the monthly spread for September. So um, definitely stay tuned for that. So as you can see, we have this gorgeous like orange and well, I think it's two shades of orange, actually. It's more orange than it is yellow, like a golden color. And um, some orange polka dots. So this is going to be, let me move this out of the way. This is going to be week four in the planner for school. And it's we've really been in school like five weeks, but fully teaching, it's week four. So we have nine four, nine five, nine six, nine seven, and nine eight. As soon as I find a a date sticker book, I'm going to stop doing that. So here are my labels again. We have reading, language. writing social studies reteach and next week Um, and I didn't say, I'm going to mark through this that says test because we won't be doing that as a test. And then right under here, I'm going to put small groups. Cannot find my label, so I need to locate those before I get started. All right, so as you know, I like to go straight down. Um, this week right here is well this day here is going to be blank so i'm going to kind of use that as my um inspiration piece to kind of start my week off so grabbing my sticker books that i like to use for my happy planner and i got a few of them already in my hand already out and ready for today the purple this one and I need the yellow one so yes and if you don't know the sticker books of choice are the two teacher sticker books one's called the sweet life I'm not sure what this one is called if you know post it below and let me know and then I have two um, student sticker books one's called the sweet life and the other is the Friday sticker book as well as my seasonal planner now I don't really like to start decorating for fall until it's actually fall um, but it is Labor Day, and I already used that Labor Day sticker out of that one, so I'm just grabbing my mom's sticker book, and I'm grabbing the Labor Day sticker out of it to use. And as you can see, it's just on my finger because I'm going to use it in a moment. So then I'm going to see what kind of boxes I have that I can use that I like. Alright, 
so nothing in here that I can use for boxes. So, and I don't have any empty boxes here either. So I'm just going to grab checklist on them so I'm gonna check one more place nope all right so we're just going to Take this Labor Day sticker and I'm going to lay it right here in between um, where would be my reading and language stuff. Then I saw this really good sticker. Teachers have class, class. Teachers have class sticker and I'm going to lay that where it says next week. All right, so let's go ahead and start kind of planning a little bit. So we got behind yesterday, so we won't be able to officially start a new lesson until Wednesday. So in reading, we're just going to do a review and complete our test on Tuesday. Um, language we're going to review and we're going to do this test on Friday. I believe it's compound sentences. And then I want to also talk about idioms tomorrow also. So I'm gonna review compound sentences. Um, so for writing, we're still working on narrative writing. And we'll be doing that for the rest of the week. And then we'll go on to something new next week. So I'm just going to go straight down the page, narrative writing. So um, next week for Wonders, we are looking at cause and effect, and we are looking at the tick structure. Um, so we're going to do um, an IN page and our reading writing workshop. Um, we're going to do a 15 minute mini lesson and we're doing centers and then, um, a 20 minute mini lesson and we're doing centers. We are also doing centers here. And I'm going to put a little star here. Centers. The goal is to get to centers on Wednesday. Um, for language, we're still going to be working on compound sentences and idioms. And we also have another language skill um, that we're going to be working on. And I believe that it's complex sentences. I'll do an IM page on that that day and an IM page on that. And then I'm going to do a review of compound. 
complex sentences. And a review on compound sentences. All right, so that about covers it for that. So in social studies, we are going to do our map quiz. Um, we're going to do our latitude and longitude classwork assignment. We're going to review for newspaper quiz. And we're going to take our newspaper quiz on Wednesday and do our intro for week. So we're going to work on a week four newspaper and I am and week four newspaper. So in our curriculum, we don't actually technically use a book. We use newspapers. And so um, each week focuses on a skill that is coordinated with our social studies curriculum for our state. Um, so I also tie in the book that we have in our rooms. Our kids don't take the books home, but they keep them at their desk. And so I tie those in with an interactive notebook piece. Um, this part here is really going to stay blank until I start teaching. And I found that for my reteaching, it's really going to be helpful on Mondays and Tuesdays to reteach from the previous week's skill. So, um, so this is problem and solution. So for my kids who don't pass the test on Tuesday, then we can go from there. And then this would be um, cause and effect for my students who are not getting it. So, um, I like to do what's called quick checks throughout the week, and I tend to do them on Wednesdays, but I will do a quick check on Thursday this week because of how our schedule's thrown off, and it'll be on cause and effect to see how the students are mastering that. Um... For small groups. Okay, so now we're getting into the center. So we won't start centers until Wednesday. Okay, and on Wednesday, I like to do actually, I wanted to do centers on Tuesday, but we're going to just kind of change it up a little bit. So on normally on Wednesdays, I would do two centers, but because our dates are being shifted back, I'm going to do two centers on Thursday. So I'm going to just draw a line. All right, so we're going to go into rotation one. Um, and then we'll do rotation two and three here. And then we'll do rotation four here. Now, originally, I wanted five centers, but I couldn't quite figure out how to work it out. If I'm able to work it out, then we will do two centers on Wednesday and Thursday and one center on Tuesday and no centers on Friday. Um, but if I'm able to get that center in, I'm going to go ahead and draw a line here and I'm going to write rotation number five question mark. All right, so in rotation one, I want to work with my little group. And we're just going to, let me grab a sticker out of here, a checklist sticker, if 
I have any in this booklet. It may not be, yeah. So I'm just going to grab the yellow sticker here. And I'm just going to use I'm going to use three of them. So for my low group, we're going to be doing, excuse the noise, you guys. We're going to be doing leveled readers, um, a quick check, and a fluency passage, fluency review. These are for my, this is for my low group. Um, rotation two and three, I'm going to get my um, medium to low group, my mid group, um, my medium to high group, and my high group. So I have um, some people, some kids that fall like right in the the middle, and then I have some kids that are teetering, just need a little push to get tied. So that's how I, I separate my kids. They are ability grouped for centers, and I talk about ability grouping. Uh, I'll talk about that on my blog this week. But for my Teacher Tuesday this week on my blog, um, Teacher Tips Tuesday. On my Tuesday tips this week, I'll be finishing up a series that I'm doing on homework. So go check that out. Now, I'm going to put three for rotation four and five because I'm going to do the same thing for each of them. So we're going to do level readers and a quick check. I'm gonna do level readers and a quick check. And then for my high group, we're gonna do level readers. Quick check and an enrichment assignment. Just to keep them high. Okay? So, normally they will go in this box here, but just because um, I'm just kind of playing with it this week, I'm just kind of laying that out. So, next week, it doesn't matter what days I put this under. These are just things that I know that I need to be working on next week. So, I'm just going to grab a, see if I have a box checklist here. And I should have some if I have not used them all. Yeah, I have some. I'm going to use, I think I like this coral color here. So I'm going to use this one and put it right there. So I want to make sure I have a center form and a center schedule posted. Um, and a review schedule and a small group schedule. All right, so that pretty much wraps up what I'm going to be doing for the week. So then I kind of got a little bit of space here for me to decorate a little bit. And so I'm going to use these quote stickers here the art of teaching is the art of assisting discovery i absolutely love that one this thin tall darling sticker is going to go right here love the way that stands out the next thing i want is this pink sticker that says it takes a big heart to shape small minds. Now, the only problem with that sticker is it's a little long. So I'm gonna pull out my Labor Day sticker. 
And then I'm going to lay this down. And I'm gonna put my Labor Day sticker right here in this corner here. And you'll be able to see it when I put it back in my book. So yeah, that about wraps it up. I just have a couple of things that I need to put down. All right, so one of the things that I have not included are these little stickers here. Um, we go to the libraries on Thursday, on Wednesday. Let me think. Yeah, go to the library on Wednesday. We go to the computer lab on Thursday. We have art on Tuesday, and we have PE on Monday and Friday. So there you have it, you guys. That is my plan for the week. The only thing that I have not included is just a quick, um, using my quiz stickers here. To indicate when I will be given a quiz so I'm gonna put a few of those down let's see quiz we have one here and then we have let me see do we have any more quizzes yeah, we're going to do a quiz down here. And that should wrap up my quizzes. So hopefully I'll be able to locate my um, labels. And then I can create a small group label and edit this one to just be reteaching. And it will be on the same side with testing. Um, well, with next week. So then I can kind of plan for um, what I'm going to be reteaching and everything. So, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I hope that it coming out before school starts tomorrow. It will be helpful for my teachers who also have the Wonders program. Thank you so, so much for watching and giving this video a thumbs up. I have noticed an increase in my views on all of my teaching related videos and I'm so happy that you guys are enjoying those. So please give this video a thumbs up. Comment below if you have any questions or suggestions or anything you would like to see. Keep God first in everything you do and happy planning and teaching you guys. Bye.